shore It was calling me aboard And as I climbed inside I saw you sitting there In a daydream you were lost But you saw me through the fall Try to hide behind your paper and your pen, but you laughed instead. Once upon a time, there was a cat named Bernie. He loved to play so much. He liked to be pet on his cheek and his eyes. He he purred so loud. So I can... <laughs> Is that all? Yes. Great job. Good story, miss. It is Tuesday and I am gonna start sketching. I got my tripod here. I'm gonna get it real nice and close for you all. I have a pencil sketch that I wanna turn into some ballpoint pen sketches. I'm kind of back on the ballpoint pen thing. I actually am kind of doing everything. Um, I need, I have a few journals going, which I wanna talk about that too. Um, I have this journal, <laughs> sorry, it was, I have this journal, which is an etcher, um, watercolor journal, and it is in the A5 size, and I really like it so far. It's probably, it's the one I've been using the most. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it is the one I've been using the most. I have this one, which I have made with 100% cotton paper by Arteza or Arteza, whatever, I don't know. Um, and I would say that I don't like it for watercolor. It like the watercolor like blooms on the paper. So I can't get fine details. It's weird. Anyone else tried this paper and have the same problem? Maybe I just use too much water. Um, that could very well be the issue. I'm not a hundred percent sure. This is my Stillman and Burn love these books. I wish they wouldn't use so much glue in the binding, but uh, I still like them, even though it's just this page, um, every signature has that glue thing. 
it's fine. It just means I cannot work across the page. Or if I do, I just have to realize that watercolor is not going to go there because there's just a ton of glue. And it happens in every signature. I would buy this again for sure. Uh, and for the Etcher sketchbook, I didn't say this, but I would buy it again too. It does have this issue with the journal. I am just notebook or journal picky, but uh, this like paper, once you get to that glue section, it doesn't have glue issues, but it does pull away from the binding. So obviously they didn't use as much glue, so that's why it's pulling away. I'd rather have that than um, the glue because the book's still bound. It's not un unbound. It's just the fact that it's lifting up from the binding because the stitching that is occurring. Uh, let me get to a blank page. <laughs> Does anyone else do this with their sketchbooks? The sketching, stitching that is a sketching. The stitching that's occurring starts way in here. If it had started up here, then I don't think that it would have a peeling problem. But regardless, great paper. <laughs> Can I specify that enough? Uh, great paper. I'm glad that I have three. <laughs> this is one of three. I'm so glad that I have three because I really do like this journal. So yeah, that is what we're going to do today. We are going to sketch and paint. The watercolors that I'm going to be using is a little bit of a mix. I'm going to be using some Daniel Smith and some Handmade by Letter Sparrow. So let's do this. Are we ready to do this? Let's do this. Just like juniper in summer Oh, we were never meant to last Easy on the eyes But no way that we'd survive We were wilted, we were weathered Couldn't make it to September
short cold days Or the rate that the planets change position Or maybe everything just has to time All right, so I'm gonna stop here. I have some work to still do and I'm trying out these trees. I have no idea what I really think of them. They don't look real, but they do have depth. So yeah, there's that. And then obviously I haven't touched anything down here and I wanna add more texture. I really like how the sky's turning out. Uh, I'll see if I really like it when it dries, but I'm going to stop here for the day, and I will see you all tomorrow. All right, so we are gonna skateboard and then I will <laughs> interruption. <laughs> we are gonna skateboard and then I have to go in and sew covers, but we have to get these wiggles out. If you have kids, you totally understand. Hi, Bernie. Friday and I have not touched this at all so I wanted to get back into it I think I mentioned before I'm not a huge fan of the trees um, I just I like where where it was kind I like where it's kind of going I just don't think that I implemented it really well and I'm not a hundred percent sure how I want to implement it so it's just gonna be some practice um, but I do want to add some more depth to the foreground and I'll probably work back into these big trees and some flowers on the ground here. But yeah, um, let's finish this up. This, this illustration has taken me like, what, all week? <laughs> that normally doesn't happen, but such is life. Okay, so. Hmm, brown, don't need blue, maybe I have green, okay, water. All right, so, <laughs> you probably hear my kids in the background. I'm gonna zoom in. There we go. I have this handy dandy thing on my watch that shows me what the, my, uh, my camera is showing you, um, so that's really cool. My husband said, did you know that your watch has remote camera mode? And I was like, no. And so, yeah, that happened. Okay, more depth, let's start in the path. Sometimes I just don't even know where to start until I get started, so. I think it's one of those days. I can't see this because this is in the way. Cool.
Now we're good, right? How many of you actually answered me? <laughs> it's okay if you did. I normally talk to myself, so. Especially when I'm trying to get myself motivated to do something, I'm like, okay, you could do this. Come on. All right, I'm gonna be quiet and I'm gonna think. So I'm going to speed this up so that way you're not watching me take forever painting this, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> done. Not 100% satisfied. However, I think that the trees have some potential. So I want to continue to play around with those and continue to practice and see where those kind of go. Do you hear that? I hope you don't. The uh, lawn maintenance is out doing their thing and it's loud, but the windows are open and it's really nice. And you know, I want the windows to be open. So such as life. Okay. So the next thing that I wanted to say was I, I just want to give everyone a big, huge hug. Thank you for commenting on my last video, for liking my last video, for subscribing to my channel. If you did from my last video for leaving me messages on Instagram because of my last video, I cannot give you a big enough hug. You all stepped up and pretty much told me, wake up, Brie. <laughs> you have no idea. Even though the numbers might not show it, you have touched someone and that is all that is important. So thank you for making me open my eyes and actually see again why I'm here and what I am doing. It gets a little tricky on YouTube because you see all these people and you're not and it's just awkward. So anyway, thank you. If it means anything to you, just know that the comments really help me um, with the YouTube algorithm. So do the likes, so do the subscribes, and so does sharing. Actually, I think sharing is the best way to promote my video. So thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for lifting me up when I really needed it. I really appreciate you. Okay, next thing I wanted to ask is, what do you think of premiere videos? Do you like when the creator is in the comment section commenting along with everyone? Uh, I obviously post my videos very early in the morning, and so I'm interested in this because I would change my time if you all wanted to do a premiere video. So leave me that in the comments below. And then I think that is all. Yep. My summer collection. Some people have been asking about that. 
that is coming. Um, I'm hoping to have it out by June 1st. So if you are a newsletter subscriber, you will know first. You will know 24 hours in advance. So if you are interested in that, then subscribe to my newsletter. The link will be in the description for you. And um, yeah, I'm thinking June 1st for that. I'm just waiting on washi stickers. That is my hold up. I hope that gives you some insight of what's going on. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys have a great week and until next time, I'll see ya.